Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some juicy gaming news that's got everyone talking. Is Xbox Game Pass losing its edge? You might want to grab some popcorn for this one because it's about to get real. So Xbox Game Pass has been the go-to deal for gamers, right? Unlimited access to a ton of games for a pretty sweet price. But recently, Xbox decided to shake things up and not in the way we'd all hoped. Starting in September, if you're new to the Xbox ecosystem, you can no longer subscribe to the good old Xbox Game Pass for console. But wait, there's more. They're introducing a bunch of new tiers that make my head spin just thinking about them. First up, we've got Game Pass Standard at $15 a month. It includes a back catalog of games and Xbox Live Gold, now called Game Pass Core. But guess what? No day one releases. No Xbox Cloud Gaming. It's like ordering a burger and finding out the cheese costs extra. Then there's the Game Pass Ultimate, no changes in features, but brace yourselves, it's now $20 a month. Oh, and if you're just in it for PC gaming, PC Game Pass remains the same, but is bumped up to $12 a month. And here's the kicker Xbox Game Pass Core, formerly known as Xbox Live Gold, will set you back $75 a year just for online multiplayer. I mean seriously? At this rate, we might need to start a GoFundMe to keep gaming. If you're an existing user, there's a new rule. You can only stack up to 13 months of Xbox Game Pass for console. Any more than that? Sorry, you're out of luck. Xbox, we need to talk. Why make everything so complicated? It's like they took a simple recipe and decided to add a hundred secret ingredients no one asked for. The big question is, is this move going to backfire? Xbox has been going through some rough patches with layoffs and studio closures, and now this? They've got a new Call of Duty and some hot first-party titles on the horizon, so why shake things up now? On this week's episode of Spot On, Tam and Lucy dive deep into the new pricing model and debate whether Xbox is making the right move. Is this really the best time for such a dramatic restructure and price hike? We want to hear from you. Do you think Xbox Game Pass is still worth it? Or are you considering jumping ship? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this conversation started. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest gaming news and reviews. Until next time, game on.